and I am on my way to try and catch something I saw a while ago and never got. Yeah, this thing. So I get the feeling I might get a pretty useful ability off of it. And got it. The Bulletino only has one defense mechanism, and that is to launch itself headfirst into danger when panicked. This is a bad idea, but the Bulletino will always do it anyway. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's focused entirely on ranged attack and speed, with the vast majority of that in speed. This guy is fast as fuck. Makes me wonder what its evolutions are going to be like. Oh wow, that is a powerful dash. It consumes stamina fast, but as long as I stop it quickly, and before my stamina runs out, I can kind of spam this and get around real fast. I like it. Huh. Okay. So I opened the chest and ended up in a huge fight against a fusion of two squirey. Well, let's take it out fast. As fast as we can, anyway. And down. And down they go. Hmm, not the biggest payout, though. Oh, no. We did get a pretty damn good payout. Alright, then. The water here... receded. Wait. Is this area just underwater at night? So that was when I was last here. That would actually explain a lot. Well, we've just jumped to night, so let's see if I was right about that. No. So what changed here? That's weird, because I could have sworn this whole place over here was flooded before. That's an interesting new one. Definitely gotta try and get my hands on them. Well, that's a very sudden shift on one press of a switch. But I think I see what I'm supposed to do with it. As soon as I get out of this fight against this obnoxious little shit. There we go. That finally opened this. And there ain't really that much good in it. Alright, whatever. I'll trash you in no time. And get smacked the fuck up. joke. Absolutely fucking atrocious. Oh! That's what opens those. Shit, that gets a ton of new possibilities for me. Goddamn. Okay, and dashes get me across those winds as well. This changes a lot. This guy... Hmm. You know, being a historian must be really obnoxious in a place that has no recorded history and is full of people from other dimensions that don't match up to their own history, so I can definitely see why he's frustrated. There's no reason to be a dick about it. 
So, since you're being a dick, I'm gonna just beat the shit out of you. Oh. Well, there's one of the uh, alternate evolutions for him, and that one's kind of creepy. I guess I'll be trying to get a recording of that quick. Still got him. The hopskin will entice its prey to approach with its unblinking amber eyes and big smile. However, any creature that is lured in by this charade will be swiftly cut down by the razor-sharp claws it conceals beneath a dirty coat. Yeah, we saw those claws and it looks like a fucking scythe. This guy is a little disturbing. He's got some pretty potent speed in melee, though. He'd make for a hell of a sweeper. Oh, great. A landkeeper. I'm gonna fuck you right up. And... Ooh. Might have killed that one. Not that I feel any remorse for them whatsoever. There. Took a bit, but I finally got this. Now what the hell's in this chest? Not even anything that good. Okay, you look like you're probably one of the captains. Hmm. Yep, called it. Mm-hmm. So you're going to be using a lot of supernatural themed shit, I'm sure. All right, let's do this. Let's crack on. Oh, you should expect big things from me. Come on, then. I've definitely got the advantage. Sands of time, you know, I definitely need to get my hands on one of those. But first, Let's smack the shit out of your back up and make sure you don't have any for very long. Hmm. So we can't hit you, but you're gonna die. Interesting strategy there. Well, I'm just going to focus on your support then and make sure that you don't really have any. Ugh, Kaylee's got to switch out. Let's see what's powerful against Earth. What can I use? Let's go with Shark Tanker. try this. Ah, shit. It hits me. Okay. I gotta stop using that move.
Damn, I cannot hit with that. Oh, right. I can't hit them at all. But he just got KO'd. Oh, damn. That's an interesting design. I like it. Reminds me of Kurogiri. And I gotta heal up quick. There we go. And your accuracy is fucked. Okay, so this has turned into a battle of attrition. Let's just set up some walls. Oh, what's this gonna do? Oh, that's... That's smart. Hmm. And immediately revived. So Ritual will only work once. And now... You're about to fucking die. Oh no, you used Haunt again. So you're still keeping up with the Battle of Attrition bullshit. Here, right, let's swap out so we got some extra health, and at this point we just gotta kill time until you die. And Dreadful's down. Honestly, you had some interesting strategy there, but you didn't have the firepower to back it up. <laughs> and that's three down. Excellent. Well, we're making some rapid progress here, but... I really need to find a good camp to set up at. Alright, I gotta catch one of these guys. Shouldn't be hard. And got him. That's one more down. The core of Sands of Times appears to be their broken hourglass heads. Any sands separated from the central mass will become entirely inanimate. Conversely, the Sands of Time can grow in mass by making contact with sand. Okay. Well, that's a great new addition to the team, and their stats are pretty well-rounded. They're slow, but everything else is pretty good. Okay, let's just activate this fucker quick. Oh. I thought that was going to reveal a... new station, but instead it just opened a chest. Alright. This is gonna hurt. And so is this. This battle's gonna be over in no time. Your backup's gone. And now, so are you. Wonder what we have in this cave. That ain't much, but... Oh. There was something... Oh! Apocalypse fused with a spring heel. Okay. Well. I'm gonna have fun fucking you up. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, well, I still gotta build their components. Down you go. Another wild fusion conquered. Nice. 
And another fused material urn. Doesn't get much better than this. Ooh, I just realized what I could do with that. Nice. Oh, this is a ramp. Hey, oh, fuck. Okay, went across that a little too fast. And these things are too fast to run from. Oh, wait, no, I can get away from this one. Well, this is a new one for me. Looks like that's what the bullet holes into are. Possibly. Probably. We'll have to work on that soon, then. For now, though, I'm just beat the shit out of you. And that's one back up down. And blown up by his own backup. Wow. That made this almost too easy. Uh... Okay. That... Hmm. Really? Well, I'm gonna have to kick his ass for answers, then. I'll be doing that shortly. Okay, well, at least you're following your dreams, I guess. Hey, Magic Crab, how you doing? Well, I guess that's a nice shortcut we can use later. And it seems we've found the cult's headquarters. Doesn't seem to be much around it. Just appears to be a dungeon we're supposed to get into in a second. <laughs> hmm. So they're just letting us in. Okay. Okay. Let's scope this place out. Hopefully find some real answers. A lot bigger on the inside. But that's just game perspective, not Doctor Who level shit. Let's see, this flying saucer creature will emerge from a shelf given the ability to remain close to its opponents. Okay, a hint as to how to evolve all seer then. Huh? Ah! So she is recognized as a deserter here still. Which means they probably let us back in just to surround us and kick our asses. Great. Now, nope, let's just go ahead and conquer them real quick. Of course, they have stockades and a ritualistic fire pit here in the middle. Wait. Now, what ceremony? Just what are these guys working on lately? Oh. That's a pretty cool evolution of them. Definitely want to get my hands on them eventually. I'm sure there's still going to be a pain in my ass, though. But don't matter. You're done anyway. Uh, and now... Burnus and Boltum are both ready to evolve. Ooh, so focus on either speed or damage. Let's go with speed the first time. Pinbolt. Hmm. Oh, it's Pinball Incarnate. Okay, that's interesting. 
Pinbolt's metal head floats separately from its body, suspended by a magnetic field generated by the two flippers. It can channel this magnetic field to launch bolts of energy from its singular hand. Alright. Interesting concept. Seems to focus on ranged attacks and has considerable speed to go with it. And Burnus, let's see what you've got. Smogmagog. Very high defenses, very high HP. Balanced attack. Smogmagog's bodies are actually outer shells made of steel and concrete that house a purely elemental fire beam within. Although, as, as long as a single ember remains alight within its shell, the Smogmagog will continue to fight. Definitely loving the design. Very glad to have it in my party. We're getting some cool shit here. Oh, that's a new one. Uh, okay, so that's definitely a humanoid evolution of the second form of the snake. I'm suddenly forgetting its name right now. Did have a masquerade theme though, so becoming this makes sense. And that's definitely something to look out for. Okay, so that's why that exit was there. Good to know. Oh, that had to hurt. Oh! Okay, that's a cool evolution. I want that one. Ah. So that's what this lever was about. Interesting way to hide all your shit. Okay, it seems we've come up across the ceremony. <clears throat> oh shit, is that your mother? <clears throat> oh no, just your replacement. Very much not what I expected a cult leader to look like. What the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? Of course it's one of these. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Oh god, he's your abusive ex, isn't he? Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Jacqueline? Yes. Looks like I'll have no choice. Yeah, sounds good to me. And all his cultists went and fucked off. Hmm. Gonna check what's in his personal shack back here first. Really? He's just got a ton of cash under his bed and a briefcase. Making it look like he's basically about ready to fucking bail the second he can. He's probably just a criminal... Just... A thief, a launderer, something... In his life before this place. Ended up here while running with a ton of cash. 
started this cult to try and find a way back so he could make use of it. In the process, he's stealing any source of power he can get. Yeah. This place is a bit much. I want to swap my party around real quick. Going in with our classics. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Really? You're a dickhead. But fine. We'll play your game. And we'll win. Now what's this one is gonna be? Uh, okay. Looks like a PlayStation 1 boss. Oh, great. Yeah, he ain't gonna do shit for you. Well, he just got roasted alive in front of us. Morning Star, Serpent God. Great. Well, let's go in guns blazing. Stack on the damage. Oh, that's already a shocking amount. Let's buff this up a bit. Oh, great. He's got electric damage. Hmm. Oh, a heal. Shit, did not mean to do that. Fuck. I might have just fucked myself. Let's see if I can still win this anyway. You know what? I might be able to. Oh god. Okay, its strongest move nearly one-shot us. We need some items. Okay, fully healed. Sorry, pal, but you just don't stand a chance against us. Come on. Doing some heavy damage. But next turn, he's gonna have judgment again. Shh. 
shit, and he's got that tree back up. And missed. Damn it. And that was a poison apple. Oh. Wow, we survived that. Okay, that's not good. Okay, he didn't attack me, which means I can finish it this round. As long as this battering ram hits. Yes! Another Archangel conquered. Hmm. That's helpful. And another piece of her poem. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand, you must walk the path most long. To the east your wings must fly, to the place only I have known. For that is where my chambers lie, halls now empty and alone. Venture there and head northbound, where your wayward paths shall meet. Quite a few lines to discover yet. Oh, and this dickhead. And you don't seem to care either. Dorian! Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that tends to be how it starts. You tried to do the right thing. Sometimes... Sometimes people just aren't deserving of the right thing. Sometimes people can't be fixed. Sounds good to me. We'll head over there soon enough, but we've got a lot more to explore over here. But for now, I think I'm just about good and done with all this for today.
made a lot of progress. Discovered some new entries for our catalog. Got a couple of evolutions. A new Archangel down. Yeah. This has been a successful run. And now... Another thing I have left to do in this area is try and catalog a monster that I have not seen yet. And it looks like there's another one of those to deal with down there as well, so I should probably knock that thing out. But, that'll be next episode. For now, this is the Envoy of Kairos signing out. I'll see you guys next weekend for another episode. Later, guys.